Hey! Today we will introduce a model called Flux, a new and super interesting model that knows how to relate very well to our prompts. And also in terms of quality, it gives competition to Midjourney and Dolly. We currently have three types of Flux licenses. Flux Pro, Flux Dev and Flux Schnell. We will work today with Flux Schnell which is under the Apache 2 license, which allows you to make personal use of the model. I will of course leave a link to this page of Black Forest Labs, the guys who created this model, and you can read and be impressed by many interesting things that will probably come in the future. Beyond that we will see workflow image to image with the Flux model, which gives us quite an interesting quality to the images we have already created. But let's start at the beginning. First of all, we need to install the model and all its requirements. So notice that under Comfy Anonymous, we have Flux examples. And here it says exactly what we need. We need to install either the T5XXL FP16 or the T5XXL FP8 and the L clip, which we put in a folder called Comfy UI slash models slash clip. You will of course find all these links in the description of the video. Those who have a memory problem can use the latest weight in FP8. Beyond that, we will also need to download the VAE and put it inside the folder comfy UI slash models slash VAE. So as we understood, there are several types of licenses. We have Flux Dev and we have Flux Schnell. We will be working with Flux Schnell, so it needs to be installed as well. Note that this is a 23.8 gigabytes file. We need to put the model inside the comfy UI slash models slash unet folder. Once we have all that we can get to work. To work with the basic text to image workflow, you can simply drag this image to comfy and that's what we'll get. Let's take a moment to understand what we have here. Here we have to choose the T5XXL weight. I will choose the FP8. Here we have the L clip. Above that is the model we downloaded the flux one. Basically that's all. Everything else is things we already know like empty latent. See that I'll put same on. Fixed. Our sampler is the amount of steps and the denoise. Please note that we work in a workflow of four steps in total and all of this goes into the custom advanced sampler a little different in terms of what we know but quite similar in idea and of course the VAE so that we can transfer the image from the latent space to the pixel space. Let's see some examples of prompts and the results we got from them. So here we have food vendors serving customers a brightly lit food cart neon sign with text pixel easel glowing in the background, editing a vibrant energy to the urban landscape. So this is the result we get. As you can see the text is very clear and in general the reference to the prompt is very good. In quite a few attempts I made, you can see that the reference to the text is really good. Let's see some more different examples. The prompt. Photo of rolling sand dunes illuminated by the soft light of dusk. Capture the scene from a low angle to emphasize the sweeping curves and patterns of the dunes, with the sun setting on the horizon. The warm colors of the sky contrast with the cool shadows on the sand, creating a captivating play of light and texture. Use a wide-angle lens to include the vast expanse of the desert landscape with a focus on the intricate patterns formed by the wind. And this is the resulting image, beautiful. This is one of the things that makes Flux terribly interesting to me. The model manages to understand the prompt very well. Another prompt. Photo of a humorous chase where a cat is running after a dog past vibrant market stalls. The scene captures the bustling atmosphere of a busy market day, with vendors and shoppers pausing to watch the chase. Use a wide-angle lens to include the colorful stalls and the reactions of the bystanders. The lighting should be bright and natural, enhancing the lively colors of the market goods and the playful mood of the scene. As you can see, we get very close results. Maybe the cat doesn't chase the dog, but you definitely see the market here, and you see the people who are interested in the race, and the colors and atmosphere are very similar to what we defined in the prompt. Another example. Photo of a male and female model exploring an eclectic bookstore. Use an over-the-shoulder angle with a 50mm lens, 
focusing on warm lighting and quirky book titles to emphasize their outfits and the setting. Here, too, the result is very close to the prompt we wrote. Now we will try to challenge the model a bit. Photo of a woman holding a body cream jar against a scenic ocean backdrop. She stands on the sandy beach, with waves gently crashing in the background. Use a medium shot from a slight side angle to capture both the woman and the sea. The woman has a serene expression, with the body cream prominently in her hand and the label clearly visible. Use natural lighting to enhance the colors of the sea and the beach, creating a fresh, airy atmosphere. Here we can see that we have a serious problem with the hands. Let's try a slightly different prompt. Photo of a woman holding a body cream jar while standing on a wooden pier overlooking the sea. Capture a close-up shot focused on her hand with the body cream, slightly blurred background of the sea, and the wind gently blowing her hair. Use bright, clear lighting to convey the freshness and vitality of the ocean breeze. Here there are not so many fingers anymore, but the hand looks completely upside down. So it is still not perfect, but I believe and hope that soon we will see additional tools such as Control Net, an IP adapter that will help us control the result. Now we will see a workflow for image to image, which you can also find in the description of the video. All in all, what I did here I took the basic workflow, which we saw earlier, I added to it Florence to run, which we saw in the previous video, we work with a more detailed caption, which describes the image we uploaded and this is the text we received. You will notice that many times the Florence 2 starts the description of the images with the words the image shows, so I simply use the text find and replace. To add the word sharp photo of instead of the words the image shows and as you can see this is the final prompt. Sometimes Florence's description is different, so you may have to change the words he is looking for before he changes. But that is of course up to you and of course depends on the image you upload. This image goes to latent space I transfer it to get image size I don't change the size of the image, I just want to know what the resolution of the image is. As you can see here the image is 1216 times 768 pixels then. As we already know, there is also the option of empty latent. I don't know if you need it, but I left it anyway. Our main game now will be here with the denoise. As we know from image to image, if we work with one denoise, we will get an image that is not necessarily related to the image we uploaded, but already with a denoise of 0.80 and below you will get quite results interesting and quite similar to the picture you uploaded. Let's look at some examples of image to image, and you can see how we get an improvement in the quality of the images. We still retain a lot of the character of the image and the composition, but we get some interesting sharpness and some interesting completion of the details. So it's definitely a tool that's interesting to play with, and that can turn the photos we already have into something much more interesting and much more attractive. In short, the Flux is a very interesting model with super high qualities and I believe that soon we will already see tools like ControlNet, an IP adapter that will help us control the final result in a better way. So I hope you learned and we will meet in the next lessons. You are of course welcome to subscribe to the channel, ask questions, and like if you liked it. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.